One UI 6.0 with Android 14 is now rolling out for eligible Samsung Galaxy phones, and here are some of the key features you need to know, plus one of my own favorites that you probably didn't know about. Samsung's most prominent new change from the get-go in One UI 6 is a brand new system-wide font. You'll see this absolutely everywhere, from lock screen to notifications and everywhere else in between. It's rounder and softer, at least easier to read as a result of that, but it's only actually visible if you do have the default font selected in settings. We're not sure if this will change if you had a previous font set in One UI 5 and upgraded here. It's also worth noting that all Samsung or system applications have dropped Galaxy from their names, so apps like the Galaxy Store or Galaxy Wearable are now simply store or wearable in the app drawer if you're wondering where these have disappeared to. Within the camera application in One UI 6, you should see new intelligence options, which is a new mode within the settings section that lets you tailor just how quickly your Galaxy camera will process images. The maximum option will take the longest time from a shutter press for that image to be fully processed on your device and you can view that. Once you start using the medium and minimum options though, processing time is prioritized with less optimization occurring here. I'm not entirely sure if this means faster shutter activation, but you should have the option to play around with this with this updated section and see which works best for you. Speeding up the process of opening up the camera to your favorite presets is a brand new home screen camera widget that lets you add multiple quick launch widgets that will open practically any rear or front camera mode. You're also able to adjust the icon of these so that you can work out the camera context before clicking or reading the label and getting you right where you need to be in a moment's notice. Another new widget is added in One UI 6 is a weather insights widget that gives you current conditions plus any upcoming forecasts. Things like thunderstorms, snow, rain and other conditions that might affect you directly. The weather app also contains richer data like air quality index, the UV index, plus more of these information key points at a glance based exactly upon where you currently live or are currently located. The auto blocker function is a new extra on device privacy control section which lets you block unknown application installations, enhance malware detection and scanning, plus it will block any perceived malicious commands that are sent to your phone via USB or USB if it's plugged into a computer or laptop. I think this could be useful if you're worried about malware and more, but it's something you should probably disable if, like me, you're confident in sideloading APKs on your device and know exactly what you're doing. The quick settings panel has also been upgraded here in One UI 6.0 with two distinct looks. There's the quick six tiles, which have been around for a while when this section is partially expanded and a changed layout when this section is fully expanded. At the top of this are two top Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles, which let you access access deeper options without having to delve into settings or just use these with a single tap to enable or disable as you probably did previously. The device controls and smart view toggles are now right there at your fingertips within the quick settings pane, but there is a brightness slider which is fully separated out with quick toggles for eye comfort mode and dark mode which make this section a little bit more cohesive and more useful as a quick settings pane. You can also enable quick settings instant access by swiping down on the right side of the screen and the notification shade when swiping down the left side if you do prefer that. And this pulls almost directly from MIUI and a few other custom ROMs, but is another extra nice touch, especially as this section is easier and more obvious for you to access. Alongside changes to the quick settings panel, the notification shade has also received some changes of its own. You can now get individual notifications as separate cards, and this creates more space between notifications and gives them their own individuality, but it also does take up a little bit more screen in real estate. To help with this, you can now sort notifications arriving by time, allowing you to bypass the notification priority order if you do need to, and it definitely feels a little bit more consistent with the rest of One UI as a result of this change. Samsung has also updated the media player. The album art now covers the entire background of the notification, and the progress bar leaves behind a visualizer trail that is color coded and will move off flow as music and media progresses. You'll see the new media player in the notification shade and the lock screen. Minimizing this turns it into a regular notification with just basic controls like pause, play, skip and reverse, but it is a nice touch which helps play nicely with the rest of One UI 6. The classic Samsung emoji have been changed in One UI 6 with softer, less glossy looks than they have in previous versions of One UI. Shading helps add a little bit more depth to these characters, but they feel a lot closer to Google's Noto emoji while retaining some of that Samsung style thrown in. This could be seen as a small change, but considering just how often you or me will send emojis or use emojis and see them online, it's actually going to be a noticeable change for lots of Samsung users as One UI 6 hits more devices over the coming months. 
Block screen customization is definitely not new in One UI 6, but you do have a few extra options to change here. Plus there's also some more new fonts that you can tweak. One of the best new options is the ability to move your preferred clock style almost anywhere within that top portion of the screen and it should lock in place. There are also three added new font options that you can apply to the clocks, but annoyingly not to the regular text, which may show the date and other information. One more text-based clock widget has also been added here too, so you can customize to your heart's content once again here in One UI 6. App search is definitely a feature you should be using more often, and it's not just because the app drawer can be a little bit congested. In One UI 6.0, you're now able to search for an app and then long press to bring up the home screen quick toggles or quick actions, depending on what you actually ask or want to do. It may seem minor, but it gives you options to get into specific app sections and areas without spending too much time scouring an app drawer and then going in manually to do this. I told you I was going to give you one of my personal favorite functions in One UI 6 and it seems minor but it is definitely something you should be paying attention to. When you toggle Bluetooth while using airplane mode, your Galaxy phone will remember and Bluetooth connections will remain active when you turn airplane mode on or off again in future. As someone who travels quite a bit and switches into airplane mode fairly often, I think this is an epic option as my podcast and music don't get interrupted and if you don't believe me, Try this out for yourself. So those are some of the best new features in One UI 6. Tell me some of your favorites if they weren't featured in this video. You can see the full change log for One UI 6.0 via the link in the description and see all of those minor tweaks and changes that you should get on your devices. And you should also see now on screen what phones and tablets are actually eligible for the Android 14 update. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.